likely will not be a snow day. And that's a big relief to parents who know that it can be a headache to find child care when school's canceled. But new here at five, our Kelly Taylor is live to explain one way that that problem can be avoided. Kelly. Like you just said, snow days, snow days they've faced forced school to cancel for yet another day. This parking lot here is normally full of parents dropping off kids for after school activities. But right now they're picking up kids after the snow day. But what about starting school later so students are able to get a day of school in? Which we're already down five snow days this year. Um, so I felt that the driving conditions were favorable enough that we could actually get here, which I just checked our attendance rate a while ago. And we're at 93 percent attendance for today. Schools across the metro were closed for another snow day, but about 80 miles southeast of here, Montrose Public Schools started their snow day two hours late. Now, there are some people wondering why metro schools don't do late starts and parents. They were at Brookside Park enjoying the snow day, but they say it is sometimes hard to change things around in order to stay home with their kids. You know, there's still a lot of juggling and I, I feel bad for parents who work full time and don't have that flexibility to juggle things around. So it's been a tough month, no question. Now we did check in with a couple of school districts, Shawnee Mission here where we are. They don't have a policy on late starts or canceling classes. The Blue Valley schools, they say that they don't do late starts as well. And over at Kansas City Public Schools, they say historically they don't do late starts because it doesn't work well for their families. Live in Mission, Kelly Taylor, KCTV 5 News.